Welcome to Basics Real Life Drawing. In this video, you will learn how to draw everyday objects found at home. I will also teach you how to do basic shading for the image that we will draw today. The materials we will need are a sketch pad, or you can also use a plain Oslo paper or plain bond paper. Next is, we will use a pencil. If you have a drawing pencil, feel free to use that. The next is an eraser. If you have a needed eraser, I suggest that you also use that for today. Now let us prepare the image that we will draw. So this is my setup for the still life image that we will do. I chose a simple cup for today. I would recommend that you use a simple cup so that you can ease into drawing. The next is a lamp. This lamp helps us define where the lighting of the object is. I also put a piece of white paper so that we can focus only on the cup and not anywhere else. Now it's time to draw. The first thing we will do is we will plot the cup on the paper by drawing a square. After that, we will draw a rectangle beside the big square. Next, we will begin to draw the sides of the cup. After that, we will draw a small oblong at the bottom of the cup. This will be the base of the cup. We will now draw the mouth of the cup by making a big oblong on top. After doing this, we can now make the necessary adjustments to achieve the shape of the cup. Now let's draw the handle. Make sure to follow the rectangle that we did. I noticed that the shape of my cup needs to be adjusted. If you also encountered this problem, don't be disheartened and keep editing until you are happy with the shape. After fixing the cup, we can now draw an outline of the shadow of the cup. Now let's go to shading. I'm starting with the mouth of the cup. And I'm making sure that I'm doing this as lightly as possible. To guide you with shading, always look at your still life model. Check where the shadows fall and where the light is at its brightest. Now we shade the body and the handle of the cup. Draw some guidelines to separate the dark areas and the light areas. After doing this, lightly shade the dark areas as evenly as possible.
Now it's time to make our shading darker. I like doing this by shading on another angle. This helps minimize lines that stand out too much. Always remember to go back to your model to get the shading correctly. After this, we now blend the shading by very very lightly shading over the dark and light areas of your cup. If you find that you shaded too much, just get your eraser and erase some of the shadings you have made. Make sure to go back to your model and check where the light areas are. Don't forget to blend lightly after you erase. Once you're happy with the cup, we can now do the shadow. Follow the guidelines you made before and always go back to your model to get the shadows correctly. Shade lightly and just come back to make the shadings darker. Make sure that your shadow is darker than your cup so that the cup will pop out. Don't forget to blend after. After doing the shadow, we can now shade the background. We can start shading the surface where the cup is placed. Again, use a light hand and go back to your model to get the shading correctly. You can always use your eraser to edit your shading. Now, do the same to the background until you are done with your still life image. This is my finished sketch. Thank you for joining me today. I would love to see your work. Upload your work on Instagram and tag Aretay at the Deo and Squid for a chance to have your artworks posted on our media pages. Thank you and see you again soon.